How is it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tag. So iOS 16 is here. The final official version of iOS 16 is available for everyone with a compatible iPhone. So the iPhone 8 and newer. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you something very, very important that can literally save you. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what you need to do before updating to iOS 16. And it's actually extremely easy and simple because the only thing that I need to do now before updating to iOS 16 while you're still on iOS 15 is to back up your iPhone. Go ahead and back up your iPhone. I can't stress this enough, it's mandatory that you back it up. You can choose to back up using iCloud or using the computer backup so you can back up with iTunes. If you're not really familiar or not really comfortable with backing up, you can go ahead and watch videos here on the channel where I teach you exactly that. I'll put cards here and links in the description on how you can back up your iPhone to iCloud or to a computer. There are free methods to do it, okay? So now that you're backed up, that you have an iOS 15 backup, you can go ahead and proceed with the update. You can go ahead and update to iOS 16. And you can also choose. There are pretty much two ways to update to iOS 16. You can update straight from your iPhone, which is the most convenient way. So you just grab your iPhone, go to settings, go to general, and then software update. And right there, you can proceed and continue, download and install iOS 16. If you want to, you can also update using a computer. So you can go ahead and perform an iTunes update. So then you plug your iPhone to the computer, you download iOS 16 from the computer and iTunes will install iOS 16 on your iPhone. It's up to you. You can choose what's the best method for you. But then why did I say it's mandatory, it's extremely important and necessary to back up your iPhone before updating to iOS 16? And that's the important part of this video. Simply because when you update to iOS 16, you may have problems. Maybe because your iPhone is older, maybe because you have an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10R or an iPhone 10S or an iPhone 10, and then when you update to iOS 16, the performance is not really good. The iPhone is slow, is a little bit sluggish and buggy, and battery life is bad. This happens. This happened before. This always happens. So when you go ahead and update to a major software update, the older models will suffer and struggle a little bit. So then keep that in mind. Also, maybe you have a newer iPhone, like an iPhone 13 or 12, but because it's the first version of iOS 16, is iOS 16.0, maybe you'll suffer this as well, even if you have newer iPhones. So then, same thing, uh, bad battery, buggy, sluggish performance, not really good, some apps may not be compatible, so your overall experience with iOS 16 may be bad right now, at the beginning, at the start, of the software of the version iOS 16. So then having that backup, having that iOS 15 backup that I talked about right in the beginning of the video is extremely important because if you are not happy with iOS 16 for any reason, if you regret updating to iOS 16, you have the possibility to downgrade back to iOS 15. And since you have that backup, you can recover all of your data. So you will not lose anything. So that's why you need to back it up first while still in iOS 15, because when you update to 16, you can easily come back and not lose anything. And the process of coming back, the downgrade process, I also have a video here on the channel. So again, card here and link in the description. So you can have that as an option. You can have that as a plan B. If you update to iOS 16 and regret, you can go ahead and come back to iOS 15. And it's super important that you do this right now, right in the beginning of iOS 16, because you won't be able to come back to iOS 15 for long. Apple, after some weeks, maybe some days, they'll just stop signing iOS 15 and you won't be able to come back anymore. So it's super important that if you wanna update, update now with your iOS 15 backup, test it out, see for yourself. If you don't like it, come back to iOS 15 as soon as you can, so then you can wait a little bit more, wait until iOS 16 is more developed, is more mature, is better, and then maybe in a few weeks or a few months, you can go ahead and update once again to iOS 16.1, for example, okay? So 
that's it. That's my recommendation. That's what I recommend you to do before updating to iOS 16. Follow these steps and you won't have any problems or any headaches, I guarantee. All right? So that's it. Thanks for watching and I see you on the next video as usual. Bye-bye.